This is Hospice of the Piedmont, and in the background here I have um, our wonderful young musicians. And this project started, uh, it's a little bit of a personal experience for me in that my father was a musician and died at hospice. And he attended Penn Griffin School when it was William Penn. As part of my grief work, I went to uh, Penn Griffin and heard about this wonderful harpist. And I went to hear them. And I just thought, if you, what would happen if you mix youth, young people, and music, and how that might help others? I work every day as a bereavement counselor and part of our goal is to help people find ways to relax, for people to find ways to care for themselves, to find ways to make meaning of the death of someone that is so precious to them. And I know that music is one of those things that helps people through their whole grief journey, whether it be by helping them relax, and, um, increases endorphins, uh, helps the immune system, all of those things that we know are affected by the grief process. And harps in particular uh, are very healing. Well, this project is particularly meaningful to me because my grandmother stayed at this hospice and I feel like if something like this, if a project like this were going on while my grandmother was staying here, I'd be really thankful. And I think that people would really benefit from hearing music like this. Well, truthfully, we didn't know how this project was going to work. The idea was to get music, to get kids, and to help people who were grieving. So we got together a workshop, a group of bereaved adults who wanted to use music to heal. But we had to figure out how we were going to get the kids in here. And we had questions like, is this too much for the kids? Will we expose them to things that they're not ready for? So I went to the school and I talked to the kids and I talked to Mr. Connors uh, to share with the kids. And we were just going to use it as an option for them if they were ready. Every one of them were interested and every one of them seemed to understand what we're talking about. We're talking about a place where people go to die and then they leave behind their friends and their family left to grieve them. And they wanted to help. They, they really wanted to help and they could handle it. And I think what we learned is that kids are a whole lot stronger than sometimes we think they are. And we know they're very sensitive. Um, I feel like music can help people relax and express out their feelings through um, by listening and being soothed. The holidays are a really difficult time for anyone who's grieving the, the death of a loved one. So we do a coping with the holidays and this year we're excited that we'll have two harpists to come to our yearly event. Uh, we do a candle lighting ceremony and we talk about ways to deal with this first year of of holidays without your loved one and I know that the kids will be a, a, a great asset. Um, this project is really meaningful because I feel like we're giving back and helping a lot of people. And it also helps you realize how music can affect people's emotions and it's beautiful. Music can evoke a range of different feelings and more playful tunes can lighten somebody's spirit.